Hello! And welcome to a very snappy uh, edition. Guerrilla filmmaking here for yeah. the Ed Factor special Senjutsu episode. So Senjutsu's landed today and we're going to just give a little review of the uh, first impressions of the title track, Senjutsu. Senjutsu, the title track. What more can you say about it? Kicks off the album. Boom. <laughs> Pretty much. Those yeah. Japanese drums. Absolutely class. Um, really impressed yeah. with it. Not, not, and if you listen to any other episodes, not the one two points I was looking for, which I often love, mm -hmm. but I do love this song. It's yeah. different. It's different. I, I have to say, it's probably the oddest opener. Yeah, it is. On an album, that's yeah. first impression anyway. It, it's, uh, although it, it's got that cool atmospheric intro, and then it, and then it kind of kicks in. Yeah. It doesn't go where you think it's going to no. go. Doesn't it doesn't go where you think it's gonna go. The the double track vocals as well. Yes. Love really it. good. Bruce is harmonizing with himself, which is something we don't really hear an awful lot of previously. It, yeah, and you it, know some of the recent albums I've actually been a little bit critical of. The fact that there's no harmony. Th th there hasn't been Book mm. of Souls I thought was really sparse on Dry. harmonies mm. and I, I, I think Bruce is great at vocal harmonies, so why don't they use it more? And the chorus when we're at a gig, mm -hmm. I hope they play it because it's great to sing along. Yeah, I've yeah. actually written about the chorus here. Like, you know, it's got that drumming motif, and you think it's going to kind of kick into, you know, a straight. Yeah, beat like or a four like four or, sort of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Galloppy it, sort of. Yeah, I know what you mean. And it doesn't. Yeah. But the, the verses are, are quite, like, you know, they're quite heavy. And they are. You know, it's war and a city under attack. Yeah, and all that. I, when I was listening to it, I kind of got the uh, I got the feeling of you know, like a film, like the Great Wall or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know, like yeah. under siege, kind of. Uh, and they're talking about coming from the north and coming from the south, south and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, you which I thought was really cool. Definitely um, have that vibe uh, about it. But you're saying about the chorus there. The chorus, it's kind of, it's, it's odd. It's very emotional. It's, yeah, it's like it, it rather than going heavier it's it's softer than the verses yeah. and it's kind of like it's a great a sing along remorseful or something I, I i do think andy the album the whole way through has a, a certain melancholy in it yeah but in a good way but in, in, a, good in, way in a good way yes absolutely yeah. like, i agree it yeah. is it was, wasn't what we were expecting put it that no, way there's these wee passages of kind of um sadness and wisdom and yeah uh remorsefulness and regret there's all those kind yeah. of little motifs kind of thrown in and those the themes and, come from through don't they in yeah. different tracks as we go through but yeah so that that's the scent in it mm -hmm. in this track and and and, yeah. and and a good lot of the tracks but yeah mm -hmm. the scent in this one yeah it's it's like it's like ari's got one for christmas type of thing <laughs> <laughs> but, yes <laughs> excuse the dog barking if you can hear yeah. that by the way we're, we're as i say gorilla phone making the yes day. yes we're <laughs> making this on the hoof um yeah uh, the only thing i would say about this is uh, said it's an odd opener the chorus is cool it is sing along yeah there is a sense so. of maybe triumph but with sadness but Aye. i i think the, the the maybe the drum motif might be for me i've only heard it twice you've only heard it once, once. really yeah <laughs> before i went uh, to work <laughs> <laughs> might be a bit kind of over overdone a bit uh, i feel like um Towards yeah. the end, there's a bit of a Gates of Babylon esque riff, yeah. mm -hmm. which I really like. Yes. But then I kind I've of feel that down. Yeah, guitar, yeah. the guitar work at the end. Yeah, yeah. And the whammy bar work at the end as well. Yeah, there's yeah. a big. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of bit, which <laughs> is cool. It feels like it kind of peters out to me, kind of like they're jamming and they didn't quite know how to stop it or something <laughs> like that. It, it feels like. And, but the Adrian Smith video about the songs he had written yeah. for the album, he says that this song, he demoed it up on his Pro Tools. Right with you know like the kind of war drums and stuff that he wanted and then nico just dr drummed along to it right so may maybe there's maybe that's something to do with that yeah. what why but i don't know that's yeah. just my impression but a good track a good opener a good opener uh, mm -hmm. uh, and a curveball opener. and a curveball yeah. yeah um it'll be interesting to see how if that kicks off a live show yeah. just how that works ah uh, yes right uh -huh. it's, it's definitely right. different i can see it working yeah, with like audio visuals type of thing, type of, but yeah, um, it's not gonna arrest the crowd as a straight away. It's not. Uh, the last few albums have had different kind of opening tracks. Yeah, I think they've they've been going more this direction. 
Final Frontier was Satellite 15, yeah. obviously, um, and if Eternity should fail, but both of those had quite big choruses. Yeah. Mm. The chorus for this is different. There's something different there. It'll be cool to see how that works live. Ah, well, it will. So we're giving that one a bit of a thumbs up. Yeah, oh, a thumbs up, <laughs> but a thumbs up and a, wow, that's, as you say, a curveball. Yeah. It's definitely different. So um, let us know what you think. Yep, and please like and subscribe and stick around because we're going to go over the rest of the album too. Woohoo! Up the irons. Up the irons. <laughs>